the spring, you were talking about improvement at takeaways and tackling. Uh, halfway through camp, where are you? Um, definitely getting better with the attention to um, to getting that part of our game better. Um, guys are running around and showing the effort and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, we got camp legs right now, so missing some of the pop that I would like to see. But guys are getting better and the effort is there. It sounded like you guys had several interceptions on Saturday. How much? Do you credit your guys for making some great plays? How many of us some bad throws? What, what, was, what was the breakdown? Um, we got our hands on a couple balls. Um, you know, just being in the right place, playing technique and being where we're supposed to be, you know, you get rewarded because technique can set you free. This time last year to this time this year, what do you think this defense and the secondary in, in uh, particular has improved the most? Um, a lot more connection within the scheme. You know, a lot more better communication, um, understanding when to use the certain tools that have given them to put in their tool belt. Um, when it comes up to different parts of the cover, just knowing to adjust the different formations, things like that. A lot of that is a lot smoother. Obviously, we having the young guys, they're struggling a little bit, but they're coming along too because we got a lot more guys that know it on the field. What's the evolution of like, Triquez? What's the next step for you, Hint? For him, what have you seen him improve on since last year? Just to keep getting better. Um, you know, Triquez is an old Wiley vet, you know what I'm saying? With his background as a safety helps him out tremendously within this scheme. Um, he's a great long cover guy. You know, he gets his hands on you. And that, you know, it's just when he doesn't, my, you know, those are the things we need to work on. So it'd be more consistent that he does. Is he exclusively at the outside corner spots right now, Quez? Um, for, so far this camp, he has practiced mostly at corner due, due to, you know, trying to get guys reps in other places and things like that. But he's he's got a ton of reps in the bank at other positions. The relationship with Nico makes adding him obvious. Mm -hmm. But what does he bring to your room that you didn't have before? What what option does he present to you? Um, a lot more versatility uh, as far as he, he's a guy that can play inside. He can play outside and then also his return game and on special teams and things like that. Um, just to add an extra piece into that room where he can he's a plug and play pretty much anywhere that we might need. Do you feel like you have now, no matter who it is, do you feel like you have CB1 and CB2? Now, in the spring, you weren't sure you wanted to wait till yeah. everybody got here. Now that yeah. you got everybody here. Now that everybody's here, um, it's starting to emerge. Um, still not cut, clear cut yet because we got a lot of guys making plays, not on the negative end, on the more positive end. A lot of guys are making plays, and you can see them getting better really fast. What's it been like watching Cole mature over the past few months and add stuff to his game? And what do you think he's improved the most since being here? Um, his What he's doing is schematically, too. I mean, you know, playing safety at the end of his senior year in high school was new to him. They just kind of stuck him in the middle of the field and said, see ball, get ball, that type of thing. Now he has a lot more run fits and pass responsibilities that he's learning, but he's picking it up. So I'm pretty proud of him from watching him from outside of my room, uh, working with the stars and the safety with Coach Ant. Looks like he's bulked up a little bit this offseason. You know what he's up to now? Uh, I don't. He he loves the weight room because he loves a, he loves the beach look. He loves his body. So, <laughs> Dalen and Roger brought as guys who showed up in the summer compared to uh, Solomon um, and. Uh, yeah, Solomon was here in the yeah. spring, so just what the guys who show up in the summer. Well, right? Definitely all those guys. We're talking about probably the best DB coach in America right here. <laughs> That's my defensive Thanks, coordinator. Yee yee. Um, no, you talk about all those guys, you know, coming in as a young group, they've upped the, up the level. They've upped the score. So now they've helped Traquez, they've helped Manning, they've helped all those other guys step up their game. You know, being like, hey, man, these young guys are here and they're athletic and they're physical and they're running and fast. They're learning stuff. So I love it. What they've brought is is making the team better, definitely. Roderick's speed as impressive as it is when you watch it on film? Well, yeah, definitely. He's He's fast. He's pretty fast, um, and especially when he starts to know where to be fast, too. He's going to really be fast, you know what I'm saying? So right now he's still kind of swimming a little bit, but it's coming. It's coming. Going against the receivers every day, we know Troy, yeah. Treshawn, Tez. Who are some of the younger guys, some of the, the less popular guys, I guess, for fans that have really impressed you so far? Well, well let me say this. Uh, we got a very, very talented receiver room. Um, so I, I, it'd be hard-pressed to find another – total group or unit receiver unit that we're going to go against that's better than the ones we go against each and every day so you know all those guys from top to bottom um you name it uh you better you better have your spat tightened up and your chin strap ready the nickels and dimes working mainly with you with hamp with both um we kind of work them out both of our rooms so we cross train so if there's a safety that plays star or dime they meet with hamp and if we have a corner that plays star or dime they meet with me so we just cross train them like that how much of what happens there impacts who ultimately is on the outside at 
CB1 and 2 in terms uh, of whether it's Kamari, whether it's Jaleel, whether it's Cole, whether it's Nico. And, yeah, that's what we kind of play around with. We play around with those reps like that. So that's where everybody, that's where we naturally get the cross training at. So whoever, we, you know, coach deems he wants to see more at star or dime or safety, that dictates who getting more reps at corner or things and such like that. So we kind of do it from inside out on that aspect. How have you seen Kamari and Jalil kind of handle the challenges fall? I mean, they played a lot as true freshmen, but now you bring some veterans in here to compete. Just how, how have they dealt with that? Really well. They, um, they've, they've bec they've, they're guys that's teaching them our, our characteristics, you know, our, what we want to be as corners and stuff like that. So I hear them helping those guys. And, you know, I kind of preach all the time, like, hey, man, if you can teach this stuff while you can play it, it's going to make your game better. And they kind of bought into that, and they're bringing the youngsters along. Kamari in particular, where have you seen him make the biggest leap between last year and now? Kamari, just uh, scheme, just knowing the scheme and being confident in his movements and things and such like that. He's he's going to be a good one. With some of the opposing offenses in the league are shifting to mm -hmm. the Bay Area schools going mm -hmm. more open. Does that allow you guys to be more sub this year than you know, in the past? You had to worry about, well, Washington was going to be multi tight on yeah. Cal was going to be multi tight on yeah. Stanford was going to be multi tight. Yeah. Now, yeah, Oregon State and Utah, but everyone else is going to be more three and four wide yeah. this season. Is that going to make more of that emphasis on nickel and dime this season? No doubt. Um, you know, you know me, I'm kind of selfish when it comes to that. The more cover guys you can get on the team, the better. That's what I want. I want guys that can rush the passer and guys that can cover the receiver. So, you know, obviously w with the way our conference is and where it's going towards for this year, we definitely going to need more cover guys. When you address situational awareness with your room in the offseason, mm -hmm. just give us like the overview of when you take to your guys on third and seven plus in particular, like what are the points that you want to get across to make that improvement? Oh man, we just want to be, we keep it simple. It's, it's called cornerback kiss. So third and seven situations, obviously we we'll know our calls for that week and our calls are going to dictate what kind of leverage and where our help is and things and such like that. So obviously it changed from each team that we play, each opponent that we play, but definitely we, 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 we pride ourselves on being a situational smart secondary.